do not talk to the police if you are accused of money laundering. Today you learn how to interact and how to react with the police. You learn how to protect yourself. You learn how to use your rights mentioned in the so-called Miranda warning. Effectively without escalating the situation. Good manners with the police are of importance, tremendous importance. You will understand why it is much better to not talk to the police and remain silent. Hi, here is Enzo Caputo with SwissBankingLawyers.com. It is a fact that people like to talk. Everybody likes to talk. 92% of the cases are ending up with confessions. Even hardcore criminals like to talk to the police. People like to tell their story. They like to speak. If you are picked up by the police, if you are sitting in a small interview room in a police station, that's not nice. There are two chairs and a desk. There is a disturbing bright neon light. What is the thing you want the most? To get out of that room. You want to get out. Does the police officer want to get out of the room? No because the police officer receives an attractive overtime rate of 50% per hour on top. So he can stay 10 hours with you and then on top make additional hours and earn more money. He can't stay in the room for hours and hours because he has no motivation to get out. But you do. You want to get out as fast as possible. You want to get out of this room and this this is used to bring you to talk and to sing like a canary bird. Do not talk to the police and maintain good manners. This is the winning strategy. It is just a strategy and has nothing to do with the omerta used by the mobsters in South Italy. If you talk to the police in South Italy, the mobsters are sending you a death canary bird in your letterbox as a warning signal. The policeman is there to produce a good case. A good case is a case with a confession. And you, and you to end in prison with small efforts for the prosecutor, with small work for the prosecutor. The police are trained to put you in jail. And you know, jail is a bad place. It's a bad place to say. The police officer is not your friend. The main job of the police is to bring you in prison and to get promoted internally, showing big numbers of arrests in the statistics. If you go to speak, in such an interview, it is like to go in a boxing match. It is like to entering in a ring, in the boxing ring. You never boxed before. You have to face somebody in the ring who is an Olympic boxer. You know, you will end up knocked out on the ground within 10 seconds. You are going to lose because you have to face professional interviewing people for the last 20 years. You're going to lose, that's obvious. If attorneys or police officers are accused, they never talk to the police. Never. You're going to lose and then crucified. Even if you are innocent and only say the truth, and you tell the police nothing incriminating, and the interview is videotaped, your answers can backfire and can crucify you. If the police have any evidence, inclusive mistakes, inclusive unreliable evidence that your statements was false, you are crucified. Everything you say will be used against you and not for you and not in your benefit. There is always enough time to talk. There is absolutely no need to talk and that in this early stage because you and your attorney are not aware on the history of the case, you are not aware on the elements already in possession of the prosecutor, including the complicated structures in mostly international money laundering cases. Most frequently you have complicated situations. You have to be, you have to know these situations before. In a democratic country, the interrogation starts with a Miranda warning. With a Miranda warning, the police officer gives you a quick overview on your constitutional rights. He says, you have the right to remain silent, but if you say something, this may be used against you in court. This will be used against you in court. You have the right to an attorney assisting you. Before you say something, before you tell me if you want to talk or not want to talk, let me tell you what I know. And now, 
police officer tells you what he thinks you have done. Why he's doing that? To give you time to think about and to avoid that the right to remain silent is exercised by you. Now, he starts again speaking to you. Now, before you start talking to me, let me tell you the difference between a lie and the truth. If you lie to me and I tell the judge that you were dishonest with me, this will not make him happy. If you say the truth, this is going to help you tremendously. Watch out and be aware. You have to fight with an Olympic boxer. You are going to lose. The police officer is not your friend. Keep this in mind. If you have a Swiss bank account and there are issues with money laundering, do not talk to your banker and do not talk to the police or to any wrong people. In such a case, your private banker is not anymore your friend. Pick up the phone immediately and call Enzo Caputo, call me, Swiss banking lawyer. Ask of, for a confidential consultation. Time is very important at this stage. The first consultation is free of charge and you will feel better after this call. Be rich and remain rich. Have a wonderful day.